Yes, sir. And we back with another one. Come on, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Y'all keep running me up. Don't forget to hit that like button as you come on in. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things should be added unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things should be added unto you. God is good. Listen. Hey, ask yourself, man. If you was on this, if you on this SR journey, ask yourself. Is you loving yourself? Come on. Just ask yourself. Is you really loving yourself like you say you do? Is you really setting them boundaries like you is you really setting them boundaries like you said that you were gonna set? Is you really implementing them goals and, and, and marking them out? Not, not, not to know what you're going to do next year, for your, what you're going to do for your New Year's resolution, is you really starting to complete them goals that you said you were going to do. See, this, this is the journey, man, of finding real love, to, set, to find self-love, man. Understand what I'm saying? See, when you start loving yourself more, you won't let people treat you any kind of way, man. When you start loving yourself, you won't let people do you any kind of way, man. When you really love yourself, you won't let people say anything to you, man. Trust me. Now, I'm not saying feed into the book. I'm not saying it's just go feed into the BS. But I'm just saying when you really love yourself, you just not letting people talk to you any kind of way, call you any name, uh, or say what they want to say to you, even though you have love for them. Understand what I'm saying? You're not just going to keep letting the BS slide, my brothers. You got to understand, chosen ones, that when you come into, the, when you come into this journey, man, this is a self-improvement journey. Just know that you're taking a different route that many not taking. Just know you vibrating on a different level that many is not vibrating, man. Understand what I'm saying to you. This is a journey of self-love, man. You will set boundaries on people, man. Is, is your rich, do your respect mean more to you than that pussy? Understand what I'm saying? Do your self-respect mean more to you than her disrespecting you? You know what I'm saying? Do you love yourself enough to say, hey, baby, I'm not going to tolerate that from you? Do you, do you love yourself enough to say, hey, I'm tired of BS. I can't, I can't keep letting you treat me like this. Respect my time. Respect, respect my presence. Do you have enough self-love to remove yourself? You see what I'm saying? Instead of trying to fit in. Do you have enough self-love for yourself to know when it's time to call it quits when dealing with people or you codependent ask yourself my brothers and sisters see this journey will teach you all that man these this this journey right here will teach you to stand up for yourself confidence leadership for i call myself mr lead by example i don't just call myself that for nothing man Cause these things I practice, these things I implement, these things I strongly want to see in my life as I practice what I preach. Not just talking to y'all on this camera, no, actually practicing what I preach. Is you setting boundaries on that female when she late to a date? Or do you just give in? Is you setting boundaries on what time she may call you or you just accepting 
that she call you. As you said, and, bound, and, it's, and it go both ways. This ain't just for the fellas. This go both ways for any sisters that's watching, that's any sisters that's in the knowledge that's watching my channel. This go for you too. As you just accepting them calls at any times of night and not putting no boundaries on it. Or they just have full access to you. If you still taking one for the team, you is not loving yourself. If you still have a whole bunch of hoes, you is not loving yourself. Trust me, because when you know about spirits, you're not just going to have anybody around you like you used to, man. Trust me. For, for our fighters, not flesh and blood. This is spiritual warfare. So with you, by you knowing that, you're just not going to have a bunch of spirits around you. Knowing that people will drain you. People can penetrate your aura field, man. If you let them. Just by the different things that, 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 that come out their mouth. Different words that they speak upon you. And you don't rebuke it. You, you letting that penetrate your aura field, man. Understand what I'm saying? But is you really loving yourself like you say you do, man? Or, or is you just trying to get along with people? Is you loving yourself? Is you loving yourself like you say you do when you know something is right, but you rather still you rather still go the wrong way? You rather go along with the wrong instead of instead of getting right? Come on, man. Is you really loving yourself? Ask yourself. Come on, man, this journey is not for the weak. I keep saying this. This journey is not for the weak, man. This is a self-improvement journey. To your higher self. To your higher vibration. Elevating your aura field. Loving yourself more. Knowing that you are worthy of somebody great. Knowing that you are worthy of a king, gods of all gods, lords of all lords, the alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. Come on, man. Is you respecting yourself enough that other people respect you? Because when that aura fills up, man, you won't have everybody trying you. Energy is everything. Your spirit is everything. It all goes together, man. But ask yourself, is you loving yourself enough to not take that disrespect? Or do you just put it, put everything else before your self-love? Put everything else before you actually healing yourself, building yourself, Mentally healing, mentally growing, spiritually growing, spiritually healing. Come on, man. You got to ask yourself these things, chosen ones. My brothers and sisters that's in the light, and, and, and actually my brothers and sisters that's coming into the light, because everybody not into the knowledge. Come on, man. You got to love yourself more. They feel the energy on you. They feel your aura feel. As you continue to retain, they going to feel that energy on you. This ain't no walk in the park, man. This ain't just for female attraction. This for better, this for bettering yourself. Elevating your life. Elevating your goals, things that you think about. Being uncomfortable. Not worrying about what people are talking about. Not being a part of the gossip. Being your own man. Being your own woman. Being your better self. Creating a better life for yourself. Put boundaries on yourself, man. Hey, don't worry about that thing messing with you. Everybody not meant to like you. You'll be surprised what they really think about you. 
Test them. You don't believe what I'm saying? Test them. People that you think that you got around you, and you feel like they for you, test them. Just start doing stuff. Leave money around them. Drop money. Hey, I ain't got this. Can I hold this? Even if you don't need it, just ask them. Come on. I'm telling you. Everybody ain't who they say they is, man. You gonna only have a few people that gonna really be there for you, man. Come on. I had to delete plenty of females out my phone, man. Females that I thought that I had never delete their number. Cause I'm worrying about the physical appearance, the lust that I have for them. But once I came into this journey, and I see that, okay, yeah, I can go get, yeah, I can go get some ass, yeah. Then I can have a bunch of these women I'm talking to, but how many are gonna come through for you? How many gonna be there for you? How many of them can you call on when you're sick? How many of them can you call on when you're down? When you need somebody to just talk to, just how you listen, be a listener ear to them, how many of you think they're gonna really listen to you and not go spraying what you tell them? And that's another way to tell them. Tell them something. That you know that you that you know that you only told them. And see if it get back around. You could do that too. That's another way to test them. For the Bible tells us, test the spirits. But ask yourself, chosen ones, is you really just because you love your, just because you say you love yourself, is you really loving yourself? Because when you really love yourself, my brothers and sisters, you are not just accepting anything that people tell you. You gotta show me. Don't just tell me, show me. Walk it, how you talk it. People tell you they gonna do something for you, tell them, tell them, tell them to do it for you right then and there. That's how I used to tell, when, when, I, when I was, before I had really came into the knowledge, but I had a, let's just say I had a awakening on certain things and when people used to just tell me, oh bro, I do this for you, I do this for you, tell them to do it right then and there. Don't, don't, don't wait no later on to, to, to see if they gonna do it, no. If they say they gonna do something for you, just test them right then and there. All right. I'm telling you. Just telling you anything. I'm telling you. Some came through, don't get me wrong. Some all came through. But a lot of them failed, man. A lot of them was all talk. Because that's what it be. All talk. But once I learned to love myself, You, 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 you stand up to that. You stand up when she try to gaslight you. You stand up when she, when she try to throw, when she, when she try to throw that, uh, that excuse on you. You stand up for yourself when she try to tell you that she ain't lying about something. When you know she lying. Come on, man. Chosen ones, love yourself. That's why I preach this thing retention to my brothers and sisters, man. You have to love yourself. You have to get to know yourself. Be by yourself. Heal yourself in order to level your life up, in order to see changes in your life. Be obedient to God. And you wonder why blessings ain't coming in for you like you want it to is because you don't have no dedication to God. As me coming into the knowledge and learning what I learned is that your blessings hang in the balance on your obedience and your dedication to God. That's what I'm learning. And ever since then, he's been blessing my channel, blessing things that I asked for. And that's me not asking for a bunch of stuff to be rich and all that stuff like that, man. Hey, man. For the Bible tells the poor, you'll have what you always. But remember... Love yourself at the end of the day. Don't let people treat you any kind of way, chosen ones. You are special. You are great. You are abnormal. You are a different breed, a peculiar people, a royal priesthood, man. Understand your value. 
But until next time, y'all not tuning to that Reds, it gonna get. I'm your host, Abino Pooh Man. Brought to you by Touch Our Family. Criminal Riders in T. What it do, G? And at the Lord's will, we'll be back with another one.